Hello everyone. In this video I will be showcasing the features of Ancestry Storymaker Studio on the computer. Join me as I take you through a step-by-step -step demonstration of Storymaker Studio showcasing its capabilities in illustrating how you preserve and share your family's cherished legacy. So let's get started. We're starting off in my tree which I have opened up in Ancestry. On the left hand side of the screen you will see some buttons going down. These ones here. The top two are pedigree and family view. The first one is a pedigree which I have now. It views the tree horizontal. So it focuses on direct ancestors with the home person on the left hand side and the ancestors extending rightward. The other one underneath it is family view. Which views the tree vertically and you see everyone in the tree and the home person is at the bottom and the ancestors extending upwards. Next button is the home person which is this one. That returns you to the primary person in the tree which is typically you but you can make someone else the home person. The one after that is return to person button. That takes you to the last person you selected in your tree. So we'll go like that and it takes me to me. The next button is this one, which is viewing tree options, which on the right hand side, when you click it, gives you all these things here. The first one is relationship line labels. If you turn that off, all the labels disappear. Turn it back on and you get these labels. Just there. Next one is always view all spouses. You can turn that on or off. The next one is show DNA relationships using a DNA test and which will show up here. Uh, next one is through lines icon. You can turn that on or off. After that is possible DNA matches. You can turn that on or off and then it show up with those little things there. And the last one is connected DNA matches. You can turn that on or off. Just close that off. I'll take you to the last three buttons. These two here are zooming in and zooming out. And this one here is the DNA matches. It takes you to your DNA match page. Finally, the last button, this one here, is the story maker button. So if you go click on that one, So what we'll do is we'll start up the top of the page. Up the top is the invite page. You can click on that one and invite people to view the tree or have a role in the tree. This button here is the tree search. So if you're searching for a person in your tree. Then we have add media button. This is where you can upload photos, upload stories, upload audio, or create a story. Then on the left, we have the studio button and the media gallery button. And sometimes there's an albums button that pops up here. I don't know why it doesn't show up all the time, but that's just the way it is. And then 
the studio button you've got photo lines written stories quick tasks and media gallery under the photo lines you need to have a ancestry account or if you don't have one you can create a free ancestry account up the top i'll leave a tag to the video that shows you how to create a free ancestry account you also need to have a family tree with at least two generations and in those two generations you need to have clear portraits from at least two generations and have a home person that's signed in your tree now we'll click on this is all mine so we'll click on here the little cross button now ancestry already populates three versions for you now you can change your picture by clicking on one of the pictures and it takes you to that gallery of that person and you can change your picture or you can leave that picture then we go to save gallery save to gallery and then we go done or share we'll go done and it's saved to my gallery and then we can go share photo and it will save in ancestry message or you can share it in an email you can share it in a text you can share it on facebook whatsapp or twitter or you can copy link but i'm going to close that off and it gives you a few more whoever the home person is and if there are photos it will make photo lines with different ancestors so for me it was my mother my grandmother my great-grandmother and my great-grandmother so if I change the home person it will do different photo lines with their ancestors so we'll go and change the home person and see what it does so we we'll go up to the tree and I'll go create and manage and it gives you a list of my trees so we'll go tree settings and where it says home person you go change and I'll put my grandmother on my father's side and select and see it's changed it so now we'll go back to the tree and student maker studio and it's changed the pictures so we'll go to the plus and see how it's changed all the pictures so that's my grandmother and that's her husband and their two sons that's my father and his brothers this one is my grandmother her mother and then her mother what else have we got one with her and her brother and another one with just her and her mother and it's giving a spot to add a photo and it'll keep going so I will change it back to me as a home person so go tree settings change
changed back. Go back. Studio Maker Studio. And I've been changed back. Okay, next we'll look at written stories. If you click, which is here, if you click on the plus button, it will ask you to write a story or upload a story from the computer. You have to click on one of there, one I want to write a story one I want to upload a story so for the first one we go I want to write a story you put a story title you write what you want to write you put a description a location and you put a date and here you can add it to a person and then you save story but if you wanted to upload a story, you change this to here. You can add it by clicking on here and grabbing it from your computer or dragging it into this box. Or choose files here it needs to be a doc a PDF an RTF or a text file and it needs to be less than 15 MBs so we'll go back next is the quick tasks which is here it's got tag photos, add dates, add locations, write descriptions. It This section is the photos you've just added and if they're missing anything like dates, locations and descriptions, it'll pop up here and it's, it's just a quick way to show that you're missing something. So if we want to just tag a photo, you click on here and you click and we'll just tag my mother like that and it's tagged and then we'll go back next down the bottom of the screen is media gallery we have three sections photos written stories and audio if you click on photos it gives you all your photos you can filter it whatever filters you want or find a person or you can sort it by newest, oldest, newest, oldest media type or title A to Z or Z to A. Next we go back to written stories. That has the same filters and the same sort. And then we have audio that has the same features and you can also upload there. I don't have any audio in mine, so I can't show you how to do it. You can also add media from any of them. Upload photos, upload story upload audio or create a story back to studio well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and if you'd like to get notified of any new videos click the subscribe button and the bell
and if you have any questions please leave a comment below and also I would like to hear about how you went with the photo lines and your stories please leave that below in the comment section thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video goodbye